we are here at Gadsden City High School today with uh, with four four Titans. I'm gonna let these guys introduce themselves. Uh, we're gonna do their preseason uh, video with average Joe's today. Hello, my name is Aaron Wood. I'm offensive tackle, senior. My name is Jerry Kirkpatrick. I'm a junior and I'm a My name is Jackson Reeves. I play in those top senior. My name is Clyde Curry. I'm a senior. All right, guys. Uh, you guys just got done with your first scrimmage of the fall, fall camp. Uh, talk to us about uh, summer workouts and the summer y'all had so far this year. Uh, it's been pretty good. We worked pretty hard coming in early, getting in. Uh, let's keep grinding. I feel like we're getting better every day. I'm taking little steps every day. Like with my guys said, just coming in every day, showing up, just going at it, doing what, what our coaches told tell us about when we talk. All right. Yeah, we've been just you know, building chemistry with the team. What is that All right. Um, you know, Coach, this is Coach Smith's fourth season, going into his fourth season, and every year you guys have gotten better and gotten better and gotten better, played some against some of the toughest competition in the state this year. Um, this is a huge, huge season for Gaza City. Guys are moving down to 6A and got a little bit of a different schedule, but as usual, it's still tough. Uh, talk to us about um, some of the expectations you guys have going into this upcoming season. Uh, I expect it to be better than last season. Um, uh, I expect that we make it pretty far. But that's about it. I'm trying to go into the season thinking like last year, but we still played a good against good competition. Yeah. Keep the same mindset. Go on in, man. Further go to the playoffs, championship play, still play me some playing for a ring, trying to get a ring. Uh, defense has to be more has to be better than the last three years. Like defense I I, I have for defense, high expectation, more sacks, fumble mm -hmm. covers, everything. So on that side we have a whole bunch of just dogs. <laughs> high expectations. I'm confident in me and my brothers this season. We put in a lot of work, and I expect you know a great outcome. All right, um, like I said, there's a there, there's, there's a lot of expectations going into the season. You guys, like I said, you know the community behind you. Uh, I think everybody's ready to see Gaston City take that next step and get back to playing Gaston City football. Um, you guys are obviously leaders on the team. Coach Smith brought you chose you guys to be part of this interview. So as leaders of the team, what do you feel like that you need to do personally to make sure you guys take that next step and holding your other teammates accountable? Uh, just making sure they, wake, they get here, get ready, uh, get ready to work. Um, just be on time, come here not to goof off. I just make sure we don't take no shortcuts. Like what you said, uh, being more accountable. Uh, as me, uh, is, is just staying on them, saying stuff to them, getting in their ear, whatever I can do just to get them pumped and get them you know, excited or just when they down, get, get in a good mood or whatever it is. And like uh, last night, I got five guys who I pick up every day on the basis. I say, hey, we getting up at 6 o'clock, 5.45 in the morning for this crew. So y'all yeah. just stay in my house. So yeah. yeah, we just, everything, just being more accountable. If you late, you know what I'm saying, you grow up, just be a little more careful. Yeah, just follow me on this. Make sure you're doing the right thing and the right thing. All right. Um, you guys had a pretty good summer. Uh, talk to us about the summer workouts uh, you, you've had so far. Uh, some workouts are pretty good. Um, We get up early. I feel like we've been putting up, we've been putting in good work. Like we, we get up early and try to make sure to like hold everybody accountable. Like I feel like we go, go make a round for it. Same thing with my guys said, getting up early in the morning, getting it in, getting in the weight room, and making sure we do all four quarters because we break it down in the first quarter, second quarter. If the coach is slacking on the same quarter, now we tell the coach we need all of us. And we just trying to beat our body down and just. Get after it during the summer and the fall, so then during August and all the way to December, however long we play, we try to make runs so in the summer. So we can just ball out, just be dog. Some of you, you know, you can build in the machine for real. Good deal, good deal. 
All right, guys. I appreciate y'all sitting there with us. I know y'all ready to get home uh, after the scrimmage today. Thank you again. Good luck and go Titans. Appreciate you. All right. We are here at Gadsden City High School with head coach Ali Smith. Uh, coach Smith, you guys uh, got done with your first scrimmage of the fall camp. Talk to us a little bit about that scrimmage and what you saw from your team today. Man, a little nerves. I mean, about what you expect first scrimmage. Um, but then we had some bright spots, you know. Uh, was excited about some of the young guys that really showed up on the D front that we were a little surprised at. We were trying to build a little depth right there. Yeah. So they did well. I uh, had one young running back that uh, – Gonna be a ninth grader that I was very impressed with him. But I'm gonna wait, watch the video tonight, get him graded up, and then see what we have. Okay. Um, I talked to the guys earlier. You guys have obviously moved down to Class Six A and uh, moved into a different region. Moved out of the SEC West, but still moved into a very strong region uh, with some very good teams. Uh, talk to us about this about your schedule this upcoming year because it looks very different from years past. So talk to us about your, your schedule this year and some of the teams you got. Obviously, it's, it's, it's a different demographic in those terms, but it mm -hmm. really is still a top-heavy schedule. Definitely um, with the quality of people we still playing, we don't want to take anything for granted. You know, right. we tell our guys that you know we we were in six A before they made it to seven A. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these teams on the schedule that we're familiar with them in terms of scouting and different things over the years. However, we hadn't played a few of them, uh, like Harsel and Clear, those teams, but everybody's going to be quality opponents, and we can't take anything for granted. Right. We need to build and maintain our identity in 6A. You know, whatever happened or didn't happen in the SEC West, <laughs> or, or one of the best uh, high school regions in the country, yeah. you know, right. hands down. Yeah. You, know, it, it, you know, we were very competitive there, but mm -hmm. that's not what we want. We are not worried about whatever happened last year or any other time. We're worried about the future and building and right. becoming a dominant program moving forward. Good deal, good deal. Um, you know, like it's, like you were saying earlier, you know, you, had, you saw some young guys out there at the scrimmage today look very good. Um, how important is uh, having those guys getting those reps and, and getting that experience? Is that uh, how important is it for you guys as far as building the building for the future? Like it's, it's very important, uh, very very important in terms of developing them fundamentally, uh, athletically, mentally. You know, through film study and different things like that. Mm -hmm. The film should be graded this afternoon. They'll get their correction cuts, and then they'll go from there. And then when they come back in on Monday, mm -hmm. they'll be taught. You know, uh, there's to correct everything that they made messed up. And so it helps build depth through, you know, scrimmages here with the control deals, with the number of reps they get. Going into some of them will play on Monday nights and then maybe mid-season be ready to help us on Friday nights. Good deal. Um, you know, as every year, you know, you, you have, you know, players come in, players go. Um, who, are some of the, who are some of the guys offensively and defensively that, that, that are kind of standing out right now? Well, obviously, uh, offensive for us, Clyde Curry, Khalil Hughley, those guys, we're looking for them to have a monster year. Justin Peoples, mm -hmm. um, uh, Aaron Richard, I mean, excuse me, uh, Aaron Wood, <laughs> which I still had Aaron Richard, uh, Aaron Wood on the offensive line, Dorian Patterson. Yeah. Those guys have been uh, staples for us the last couple of months, man, and mm -hmm. years. But these kids are people that they may, people may not really know them, but they I, they will know them at the end of this season. Those kids are going to do a really good job. Uh, and, and same thing for the defense. Uh, uh, defensively, we you know we got some guys that can outright run over there. Uh, we got a kid, uh, uh, Rajay Yao. He's been a running back over the years. We moved him over to linebacker. Mm -hmm. Really looking for him to have a really good year for us. Uh, Stephen Powell. He's uh, was a role player last year. He's gonna have an opportunity for us here. We uh, Braylon Starks, man, Braylon's been a really, really good teammate for us, mm -hmm. good player for us for many years now. He's been playing behind some really good players. Now he gets his opportunity. Hey, he's about 6'2", about 185, 190, yeah. can really, really run. Mm -hmm. So we we really excited to see where he's at. Then we got some young guys uh, in Ty Sams and, mm -hmm. and Zion Gibson that we really see that the future could be extremely bright for those guys, right. you know. So to help along with the guys that are like Dunn and like Taylor, the, the Jackson B, the Stephen Jones, those okay. guys. So we, we really feel good about our mixture of defensive guys. Um, and we, we got one young man that's out with an injury or in Cam Riley. Mm -hmm. Look forward to getting him back in the week or two. Good deal. Um, right now, if you if you had to just pick which side of the ball is the strongest right now, 
who would you go with offense or defense? Well, typically, you know, the whole cliche um, is defense always ahead of the offense. Yeah. You know, but, you know, it's about preparing, you know. Yeah. Nowadays, that our guys in, in here from January until, you know, yeah. winter workouts, they, they doing film study. They, so they, they all should be on the same level. But it, yeah. right now through camp, today was our sixth day. Mm -hmm. What we've seen has been a little up and down. and just So it's a little, been a little balanced. But I would say today was probably – Laying geared more towards the defense, but uh, um, you know it's been a little balance and stuff. And so offensively, man, we got guys over there. You know, we lost really just three uh, guys off of that deal. So we want to have some explosive guys, explosive plays, and get those guys the ball and let them go and make plays. All right, good deal. Um, so from you know, you guys had a, had, a, had a pretty good spring. So from spring to now, uh, do you feel like you're where you want to be? In terms of, uh, you know, in terms of getting better, uh, in, in, in in a sense, yes, but obviously no. You know, like it's like, hey, man, you're running out of time, running out of time. Yeah. But no, we're not where we need to be or where we want to be at all right now. We love our kids' effort. We love what they're trying to do. We love that. Hey, guys, we gotta be here. Breakfast is at six thirty. They in here getting their nutrition in. They here getting treatment, and they ready to go when we hit the field at seven twenty. So we like that in those terms, just. Yes, but from a football standpoint, no, we you know we still studying our guys and learning a lot of you know we're throwing a lot at them right now before school is started. Good deal, good deal, well, Coach. I appreciate you sitting in with us, taking some time out with us today. Uh, I know you had a long day. You got some things you gotta do. Uh, good luck to you guys this season and go Titans. Go Titans. Appreciate you always.